Hello guys, welcome to my tutorials. This is Vila Patil here. So today we are going to learn how to simulate and place the component uh, basics of the multi-sim uh, application here. So multi-sim usually we are using uh, for the electrical, sorry, electronic circuit simulation. So here basically we can uh, install this application and uh, here go to new or already it is the new file it has been created so simply we have to go to the place and components okay early it should be inserted or uh, installed all the libraries must be included during the installation or else uh, the components list will not be shown over here okay here you can see the very very various components over here but the thing is that if you go here okay here all the components are categorized <clears throat> okay in source you will get the ac dc power sources and uh, ground everything over here and here we will get the dc interactive voltage place it and also we need ground and in diodes we use uh, a basic diode over here and in b6 We'll go to registers. We we'll use a pion register here. <laughs> okay. Now, here I have taken the uh, variable voltage source. If you take the battery, then we have to uh, keep on changing the battery value um, from the settings. Okay. Next, this component is being placed horizontally. So, simply hold Ctrl and press R to rotate the component. Okay. Now, we'll make the connection. So, to connect these, just go to the end terminals of the component and drop it. Click and again click here. Okay, now you can see here, I want to take it from this line. Okay, this line is also moving. Simply to fix the point, just click here and okay today i'm just showing the basic things how it works and all okay now we made the connections we check the voltage levels okay uh, we'll use the multimeter over here okay one we'll check the forward voltage and uh, the conducting current to check the conducting current we have to connect these thing this thing this in a series okay click here also click here once it is connection is made perfectly the line color will be changed okay now to set the multimeter just double tap on this and whether you want to check the voltage ac or dc if you want to check the resistors ohms okay i'm going to check the voltage and dc and close it okay i'll set this to ammeter and dc and close it okay i'll make it to 10 voltage 
minimum value zero and here i am making it as a 0.5 voltage okay maximum i will make it 10 now the current value it is set to 5 so for the variable you can see here whenever i press a button okay it changes the value it changes the value during the running value now we can see here double tap on this here we can see the voltage double tap on this multimeter we can see the current now if i click on the source and uh, keep on pressing a you can see here it is changing phi 0 0.5 1 0 0.1 voltage 0 0.15 0 0.2 0 0.25 0 0.3 here you can see the 99.27 micro amperes it is almost zero amperes it is flowing okay some basic current is flowing but it is uh, negligible okay now uh, the conducting forward voltage also you can see here voltage is not uh, being uh, fast so two, 299 millivolts in the point two volt it is showing okay click on the source and keep pressing a to vary the voltage now at the certain value we can see here uh, for uh, one bh uh, 62 we can get we'll get the one ampere okay at certain value we will get a one ampere so let's see so point eight is also not working around six voltage i think so now you can see here milliamps now it was um it was micro you know it is showing in milliamps this multimeter value it is showing in milliamps okay we'll keep on changing Now here you can see one ampere okay after this if you change also the slight changes you will find out in uh, uh, milliamps uh, its forward current is one ampere okay now if you change also there is a slight change in the current okay voltage drop across this diode is 1.3 volt Till ten also, if we change, okay. This is how we can simulate the uh, circuit basic diode circuit. We have see we can see here and uh, how to change the variables by pressing the key A and how to place the component. We have learned today. And for the next tutorials, uh, keep watching my videos and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like and share to the. Uh, share these videos to your friends who all uh, want to know the multi-sim working and all thank you guys thank you for watching